beautiful morning here in Kyoto. All right, so just woke up. It's around like 6.45, 7 o'clock-ish. Slept pretty late last night, slept maybe like 1.30 or 2, but had some ideas last night and uh, woke up bright and early today to, yeah, hopefully share some ideas with you. So the first idea that I had when I was sleeping was anything that allows you to walk more or move more is a good thing. So this is, this is my reasoning. So one of the questions I've, I've thought about a lot is why do humans have a brain? So one of the theories why humans have a brain, and if you look at most organisms which have brains, they actually move a lot. So obviously it makes sense. We need brains in order to move, to procure few food. So we need to hunt or gather berries or whatnot. And there's even a lot of organisms that don't have brains, which don't require movement. Therefore they don't have brains. So I think a lot of the times, a lot of our psychological issues or mental issues actually just comes simply because we're not moving around enough. And even humans, we're bipeds. We have two legs and obviously we, you know, the reason why we're bipeds is in order for us to walk. And if you think about humans as bipeds having two legs compared to other animals, the difference between humans and other animals is that by being a biped or having two legs, it actually allows us to walk more efficiently over long distances, which means that human beings are evolved to walk. And that's what makes us more efficient than uh, or other organisms which have four legs, which are really good at sprinting. But humans could actually, I think, in terms of distance, we could outwalk almost any other animal. And so, my reasoning is anything that allows us to walk more or move more is generally good for our health and generally good for our mental well-being and so one of the things i actually love most about being in living here in japan or also living in big cities is simply the fact that i'm able to walk more and so there's a lot of practical ramifications for this so first and foremost my recommendation is when it comes to just everyday life opt to go for more walks if you're let's say you're sitting at the desk and you're trying to come up with new ideas things to write about or you're having a mental block just go for a walk uh, there's a lot of philosophers who say one of the best ways to be a better thinker is to walk more all right it's a little bit loud on the street i'm gonna walk down the quieter street and so i always try to walk more whenever i'm having some sort of uh, mental blocks also another idea is whenever it comes to camera or equipment always try, try to optimize for lightness things which allow you to walk more easily so cut out anything that impedes your movement so for example i think actually one of the best investments you can make for your money isn't you know all these crazy gadgets and gizmos is maybe just buy a good pair of walking shoes any sort of minimalist shoe that allows you to walk more longer distances with less fatigue and generally the lighter the shoe the longer you can walk with less fatigue or even other practical suggestions if you buy a backpack or you buy a laptop or a tablet or a phone just opt for whatever is lightest because the lighter your devices are you know the easier it is for you to walk with it so having a lightweight backpack with a small camera and having a small laptop is good for walking longer distances and I actually, I actually think that the best way to be a better photographer is just have a camera which is really light and compact and that you can carry with you everywhere you go because the lighter your camera is the longer you're going to be able to walk and the longer you walk the more photos you're going to shoot and the more photos you shoot the more likely you are to make a few good photos which uh, make you happy and so even with myself i generally recommend choosing technology or lifestyle things which reduce friction and reduce things which prevent the friction which allows you to move so even with content creation or writing or blogging or making videos i like to choose equipment which is a simple so for example i'm like talking i'm just walking talking to this little tiny gopro and the reason why i like it so much is that it's simple i just 
turn it on and it fits in my front pocket and I'm able to start immediately recording. Ooh, it's nice and quiet in this alleyway. I like it. Ooh, check out this old school mini. That is a sweet ride. Yeah, so even speaking of cars, maybe uh, choosing smaller cars is generally a good idea. And yeah, so I think this thinking this way will just help simplify our life in so many different ways that we could, whenever in doubt, we could choose. Ooh, oh, this is nice. Nice sunrise here. I'm just gonna walk this way because the, the sun feels nice on my back. So yeah, so, you know, whenever it comes to buying a new camera, I mean, I, was, I actually went to Big Camera the other day and it's so stressful because there's so many bajillion cameras with a bajillion megapixels and all, all these different options. And yeah, just opt for a small camera, which you could carry with you everywhere you go. So generally Ricoh GR version two is probably my recommended camera. The camera I'm currently shooting with right now is a Lumix LX100. It's a pretty old camera, but I like it. It's nice and small and compact. It's light. It's with me and it's uh, it's easy to shoot with. And yeah, so those are, <laughs> that's the, the basic uh, thing I want to share with you. So to be happier in life, walk more to have better ideas, walk more, restrict anything, um, cut away anything from your life which restricts your movement. And the more you walk, the better ideas you're going to have, the more productive you're going to be as a photographer, and the happier you're going to be. Ooh, let's check out this little shrine. The Tendo Shrine. Wow, this was revived in nineteen in fifteen seventy four. Okay, life is good, life is beautiful. Hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for watching.